So today we're going to enjoy Stand Back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. Man, what would it be like if an elephant sneezed? <laughs> That'd be gross. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when you read a book, it's just for fun. So today, I'm not asking you guys to do a whole lot. Just enjoy it. It is a rhyming story, so you might rhyme along with me. But watch it. There is a surprise in the book for you. Okay? I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Let's enjoy. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm gonna sneeze. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. Let's enjoy this story. It's a fun one. Okay? Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. Story by Patricia Thomas. She's the author that wrote the words. Pictures by Wallace Tripp. He got to draw all these great pictures for us. Here we go. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear. It's clear. Oh dear. You'd better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and strong. And your trunk is so long, your sneezes send everyone flying along. Bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail, tumbling and bumbling, your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't sneeze. No, no, please, don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees. The branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away, we didn't get back until the next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling. And the flowers shook for hours the last time you sneezed. Even a cough would knock us, some of us off. Oh, please don't sneeze. With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak the elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneezed, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we'd ever get back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet from his head to his feet. What's more? All the whales had peacock's tails, and the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess, it was quite a mess, very confusing, and not too amusing. Even a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Fly, fly, cried the birds to the bees. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh no, buzzed the bees. Not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off our stings as well as our wings. And we had to make do 
with rose thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please. And that's hard on a bee's knees. While our wings grew back in, what a sin. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Beware, beware, called the bees to the bear. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, please, not a sneeze cried the bear. That's not fair, I declare. The last time he sneezed, he blew off all of my hair, and he left me so bare. I spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe, don't laugh, almost bent in half, and the crocodile snout was turned inside out the last time that he sneezed. A sniff or a snuff is bad enough, but a sneeze? Oh, please, don't sneeze. I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. Oh my, do try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish, you would, if you could, the last time you blew off all of our scales, from our heads to our tails, and our gills got the chills, our skin is so thin. If you do it again, will freeze. Oh, please, don't sneeze. The zebra yelled, yipes, you'll blow off all of my stripes, plus lots and lots of the leopard spots, and all of the snakes will be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said, A lot of us will fall on our bottom us if you sneeze. So please, don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my friends, said the elephant sadly. About all of this, I do feel badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I'd do it gladly. But I have such a twitch in my trunk and an itch, plus a bit of a tickle and even a prickle. You must run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Ah, uh, ah, uh. boo, shouted a little gray mouse, jumping out of his house. He stood right up on his little tiptoes, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek, shouted the elephant, jumping up in the air. That's a mouse, that's a mouse standing there. I must hide in a tree before he gets me or jump in the lake, for goodness sake. Don't scare me, please spare me. The mouse laughed, oh poo, now what could I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you? I only wanted to give you a scare. And it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know? Cried the elephant. That's so. 
It's astounding, confounding, as I live and breathe, I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. Hee 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 hee. That's the funniest thing that's happened to me. Ha 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 ho 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 ho. The elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho hoed and ha ha. He giggled and goffed. He chorted and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed till he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking, and all of the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees, and the stings fell off every one of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where. And all of the hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe bent in half, and the crocodile's snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The zebra yelled, yipes, there go my stripes. While the hippo went thump, right on his plump, you know what. And into a puddle, the mouse went ker-plop. Then he sat up and shouted, This simply must stop! We're terribly glad you don't have to sneeze. But if you must laugh, laugh softly. Oh, elephant. Please. That was a pretty fun book. I really like this book. Um, got a lot of animals in it. I love animals. I love rhyming. I thought it was funny. And did I get you? Did I scare you when that little mouse popped out? Did I scare you like you're a big elephant? I wonder, are elephants really afraid of mice? I mean, a giant elephant. Afraid of a tiny little mouse. I don't know. So, you guys, read stories, learn from them, have fun. But also, just have fun with a book. A book is there to be a partner. You know, you got some downtime, no one's able to hang out with you. Grab a book. Have some fun with it. Look at the pictures. They're amazing pictures in so many books. Great stories. Okay? So, Keep on reading, keep having fun, I'll see you guys later, bye bye.